Welcome to 5 Minute Licks, where I teach you a cool guitar lick that you can implement right into your playing, and we do it in less than five minutes, because let's face it, you're a busy guitar player, you don't have time for long lessons. So let's get to it. Today's lick is a cool little lick that you can use either over a minor chord or a dominant chord. There are some bluesy elements, some chromatic movements, so uh, let's check it out. Here's today's lick. Okay, let's check it out one more time, a little slower so you can hear what's going on. All right, let's have a quick look at what the left hand is doing in this uh, example. Basically, I'm doing this one in the key of E minor or over an E dominant seven chord. Uh, like I mentioned, this will work over either of those chords. And what we're gonna do is in the key of E, we're gonna start here on the A, which is the four. So as you move this up and down after you master the lick, just remember you're gonna start on the four of whatever key you're on. Then you're gonna do a little triplet uh, between the A, uh, the four and the flat five, and then back. And then we're gonna go down to the G here, and then back up to the A. And then we're just going to climb down the scale from the G to the F sharp to the E. And then we're going to shift positions down one fret. We're going to grab the D here with our pinky, which in this case is our flat 7. And then we're just going to move down chromatically from the flat 7 to the 6 to the flat 6 to the 5. So, so far. And then basically we just continue down the scale. We're going to go down from the A to the G to the F sharp to the E, down to the D again and back up to the E as we do that. So we just outline the scale as we go down. Now the reason this works so well over either an E minor or an E dominant 7 is obviously with the E minor we're just outlining the uh, E minor scale with a couple chromatic passing tones, a little bit of bluesy in there. Uh, over the E dominant now it's where it gets interesting because our B flat is like having a flat 5 over the dominant chord which is a nice outside sound. Uh, we do have our chromatic passing tones as we go from the 7 down to the 5 here and we have a flat 7 which works over the dominant chord. Uh, and then we're also grabbing the G which which is a sharp nine over the dominant chord. So we could get some of these nice outside sounds with the chromatic passing tones, the flat five, and the sharp nine. So it's a nice uh, kind of bridge between blues and, and jazz when you're working over a dominant seven chord. So um, yeah, you can use it over either of those chords. All right, let's hear it over a dominant seven chord first. Here we go. Now let's hear it over a minor chord. All right, let's look at what the right hand is doing while this is going on. The entire thing is alternate picked except for the initial little triplet that we do, which is a hammer on pull off after you pick the first note. And then everything else is alternate picked. In terms of the counting for this, it's basically all 16th notes, one e and a two e and a, uh, except for that little triplet is a 16th note triplet, so you kind of have a one e and a two e and a three e and a four. Thanks for checking out this week's five minute licks. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that it takes your playing to the next level. That's the whole idea. So stick around for next week's and the weeks after and I'll, uh, I'll keep throwing you some cool licks that we can learn together in under five minutes. Take care. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe over here. Uh, that'll give you a heads up when more content is coming. There's more videos like this and much, much more. It would mean so much to me if you would subscribe. Thank you so much.